All right. Good afternoon, everybody, or good evening, morning, wherever you may be. It's time for more Scrabble. Um, my name is Will. I'm uh, back at the helm, back at the controls here at my home base in New Jersey, just having spent the whole weekend up in Kingston, Ontario, playing Scrabble, uh, which if you were watching this channel, let me get my volume correct. Watching this channel over the weekend, you may already know that. Uh, I was on the stream a whole bunch of times. It was a lot of fun. The live coverage of the Canadian Scrabble Classic, which just wrapped up uh, on Sunday morning. And uh, I thought it was great. I haven't yet had time to delve in and watch too much of it for myself. But what I did see looked really good. So I'll be really eager to hear people's uh, thoughts on that. Um, if you're out there and you were watching the coverage, I can't wait to hear what everybody thought, what they thought was good, what they thought could be improved. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely want to hear from everybody that was watching, um, if you were watching. Um, but uh, apart from that, yeah, I came in second. I made it to the finals where I did not even come close to winning against uh, another very strong expert player from New Jersey as well, Jason Keller. So congrats to Jason on winning the Canadian Scrabble Classic. Not too disappointed to come in second against uh, a lot of really good players, some of the best players um, on the continent. Um, so yeah, that's uh, at some point, maybe on my personal stream, I think I'm going to dive much more deeply into a lot of the games that I played at that tournament. I definitely had some interesting situations that I'm, I'm very eager to hear what the commentators had to say and do a little digging myself and just see, um, you know, what, what ought I have done? Do a little post-mortem analysis. Monday morning quarterback, as they say. So uh, while we wait for some folks to stop by, I will just play a game against the Grandmaster uh, bot. I guess I'll play it in English UK. That was the dictionary we were playing this weekend, but always happy to take challenges from folks that uh, stop by. It would be my pleasure to uh, accept challenges from anybody. So we'll just uh, load up a game and see what happens. Hey, Nerd Alert, how are you? Good to see you. Um, Nerd Alert, did you enjoy the Scrabble coverage from this weekend? I was just saying that I can't wait to talk to some of the folks that are regular viewers of this channel about uh, what they thought of the live coverage this weekend. There were a lot of new cool things that were being pioneered this weekend. Um, that I can't wait to see what people thought, what people liked, what people, um, you know, what cr constructive criticism people have. Um, I thought it was really, really cool. A lot of the new features that made it to the broadcast. So, uh, all right, let's see. The computer opens with zo, which is a classic word that you would see in the English UK dictionary that you might not be as familiar with if you play in the North American only. Um, so we'll just have to see what I can do here. The combination of B, K, F, V is certainly not what I like to see. Definitely going to have to use as many of these as possible. Hey, Purely, nice to see you. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was my first over-the-board Scrabble tournament since the onset of the pandemic. So it was amazing to go compete um, and uh, you know see lots of people that I hadn't seen in a long, long time and actually play physical Scrabble over a board. That, that's kind of a nice, you know, the tactile pleasure of that is something that I, I didn't, I'm not sure I realized I was missing uh, as much as I was. Um, but definitely still feeling like um, so the, the amount of online Scrabble that I have been playing during the pandemic has definitely, um, I feel like I wasn't all that rusty for that reason. I think there was for sure some carryover between playing a lot of online Scrabble and my ability to play pretty well, I thought, all things considered, over the physical board. Hey, Jeremy, nice to see you. 
Um, oh, that's awesome, Nerd Alert. Yes, so cool to hear. Uh, hope that went well for you. The Yeah, the club rooms on Woggles are a really, really cool feature. Hope you um, had a lot of fun uh, competing there for the first time. Um, hey, Goldie, good afternoon to you as well. So, uh, okay, computer plays queen for a huge score, 62 points. Not what I'm looking to see there. I love that I have a blank. Not loving that, again, I have these three high-scoring consonants. I'm definitely going to be looking to shed two of them at least. Current, the current top play that I can see here would be coughed. This would be 28 points, leaving DB. The nice thing about this D here is that, again, if you are a North American dictionary player, this is going to be an unfamiliar word to you. But this word zo, which I think is uh, a word meaning an, a type of ox, actually takes a D in front. So holding the D is particularly valuable here so that I would, if I draw a bingo containing a D, it's very, very likely to play with this hook right here. So that's sort of my future thinking. I don't really have a good play down from this Q. I don't have a U. I don't have all of that stuff. Um, and I don't really think that I have anything any better than doubt through this O, which I'm not loving. The FC combination, and it uses up my D, which I really want to keep for this spot. So I think I'm leaning towards playing coughed and hoping for the best. <laughs> Thank you. Love my haircut. Yes. Um, yeah, this was just a pretty classic, you know, my hair was getting way too long and I just went to the barber and I said, you know, I need, I need a nice, you know, short, short cut. And uh, they grabbed a tuft of my head and said, you know, how does this look, you know, if we cut this much off and I never know what to say to those answers. So I say, yeah, that's fine. Um, that looks good. If we need to cut more off afterwards, uh, I'm sure we can do that. And the barber said, we're not going to need to, you're not going to have any more to cut off after this. If I do this much. And I was like, okay, so be it. So be it. <laughs> so be it. Very confident. This barber was that it was going to be a nice, nice, uh, short cut. Hey, Salem, nice to see you. Greetings from Barcelona, says Salem Ithendil, and right back at you from east coast of the U.S. here. Hey, Dustin, nice to see you. Dustin, were you, so Dustin, you had to have been, I'm pretty sure I saw when I was doing my burrito commentary, pretty sure I saw Dustin in the chat. Just want to reiterate to anybody that's here, would love to hear impressions of what you thought about the coverage of the Canadian Scrabble Classic. What did you like? Was there anything you thought uh, could be improved? The organizing team, Josh Greenway, Josh Sokol, obviously was here for an enormous amount of time and work on the stream, an incredible job um, by them. And, uh, you know, just tried a ton of really new things that haven't been done in Scrabble coverage, which I thought was super cool. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Salem. Yeah, rooting for me during the whole tournament. Yes, I couldn't quite make it to the finish line there, as you guys saw. Um, would not say that I played perfectly by any means, but I definitely felt pretty good with the, my level of play after you know not having played in a tournament for a while. So uh, I felt really good with uh, my performance overall. Not to say I played perfectly again, but um, it really was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, the mustard, the mustard thing. That Yeah, Jason's water bottle. That was pretty amazing. Um, all right, so I feel like I've got good tiles here. I have, I must have, well, it's not obvious to me that I have a bingo somewhere, but... Um, so I have like daubed plus a, plus another blank. So I guess the question is, I can play quad here for 42 points, leaving B E D and that's a really good play. So if I do even have a bingo, which again, I haven't seen it yet. If I do have a bingo, it needs to clear this threshold of a good play, which this is a, this is pretty solid. 
right? So the D hook on Zoe just got blocked pretty conclusively, but there is still, what's going on here? Wipe it, wipe my, there we go. Is it not? My hotkey to wipe my board off of my uh, Telestrator is not working. I wonder why that is. Control W. Okay, well, I can just click it. So anyway, um, the D hook here is still good with find. If I draw a bingo starting with D, it'll still fit there. So I'm just trying to think, do I possibly have a bingo here? Uh, it's possible that I just don't. Um, blotted. Blotted. Hmm. So, oh, thank you. Oh, I can turn mine off, WTF. So, um, thank you very much for enabling your bot. Um, so, yeah, Kiev is just chicken Kiev, I guess. <laughs> yeah, high veld. Oh, my God. Trust me, when I, all right, I'm going to play this, and we'll see if I missed anything. Um, so, yes, I did miss Highveld. I just, I mean, that is a very, very low probability, infrequently seen word. I have seen that word before, so it was disappointed to, to miss it. Uh, oh, abduced. I wonder. I didn't notice abduced, but I'm not seeing a spot where it actually fits on the board somehow. Now it would fit here, um, but uh, yeah, good spot, good spot, Dustin. I don't think it fit, but I'm I have to I have to think about that. Um, Jeremy says, "Do you have any recommendations for physical boards to use at in-person events?" That's actually a great question. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the latest standard is for really good in-person boards. Um, but uh, there's definitely, um, there are some options where maybe somebody will be along in the chat that knows the answer to that better. I, and when that happens, um, I'll be sure to ask. So, um, all right. Let me see here. Deadbolt. That looks pretty good. 89 for deadbolt down to the base of the board. There are definitely other, you know, bingos like bleated here for 72, but of course this puts a lot of letters out in open space, whereas deadbolt does none of those things. The only thing that a play like bleated does do is it obstructs this S in the triple lane, which could potentially hit for a whole bunch of points here, but I'm not really worried about that um, because deadbolt scores a ton more points anyway. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> A uh, lot of O's here. So um, let's see. Any other? Have I missed any other questions? Yeah. So Dustin says that he was loving the coverage. Watched eighty percent of it. I mean, and considering. So Dustin says he watched eighty percent of the coverage. Considering how much coverage and how much Scrabble there was, that's pretty amazing. That's a lot. There were a lot, a lot of hours of coverage. So appreciate you, Dustin, for being here and uh, supporting the stream to that extent. I, I thought it was really cool. Um, so hopefully more of the same. <laughs> yeah, Boogaloo, exactly. So I'm thinking something like Gobo is pretty good here, but I wonder if is it worth me trying to keep a consonant or maybe I should just play Bog leaving three O's. <laughs> So normally you see a leave like you see a leave like a zero zero sorry zero o o o e and you say to yourself well I really I don't want to keep that leave but for forty points you might have to do it so I think I'm actually gonna do this and see what we get okay two consonants that's helpful uh, oh sorry three consonants because I left e o o o I just drew m n t which is you know, that's about as good of a leave, a uh, good of a draw as I could possibly have expected. So that's very, very helpful. Um, yeah, Jeremy, you're totally right. So they had a really cool setup. I'm not sure if it was apparent to the to the broadcast, to the viewers, but they had a, they had a setup. Let's see if this works. So the board was spinning, obviously. It was a turntable-style board, and they had rigged 
a clamp that was holding the overhead camera sort of affixed to the edge of the board. So if you imagine a big disc, right? And then a clamp, just like the one that I use for my microphone, right? So I'll unscrew it here. So they had a little clamp like this at the edge of the board, affixed it, you know, crunched it to the edge of the board. And then that way when the board spun in different directions, the, um, when the board spun in different directions, the, um, the camera moved with it. So it was pretty cool. Um, all right, so I have these O's again. I guess I'm talking a lot, so I need to, I need to consider playing a little faster. I think I would probably prefer something like this. Oh, wait, should I, I should be playing oom, just so that it's a little more difficult to... A little more difficult to play down here. It's almost impossible. Well, it's nearly impossible, in fact. So HM only takes another M, which is already on the board. So if I were to do that, you know what? Maybe I have some. What if I play like mono? Is this any better? Um, I also need to. This actually, like, if I had an open N, I could play monotone, in fact. Right, so this M, unfortunately, can't can't quite fit this. So I need to I need to make sure I'm not missing anything. Like this isn't a word, right? Um. All right. There is also this hook that needs to be thought about here. So actually, you know what? Maybe this does this get me enough points? That's thirty four. That might be enough points to do. These plays are all really close. I'm going to go ahead and just play oom um because it's pretty blocky, which I which I don't mind. All right. Well, now we're back to vowels, unfortunately. I should be I need to be playing my next few moves pretty quickly. Um so another cool thing that's happened on the channel is I'm not sure, I'm curious if anybody in the chat here, I just want to, I'm, I'm wondering, uh, feel free to say hello if you are coming to this channel by way of the Scrabble Go app where there was a little pop-up that encouraged you, if you were interested, to head on over to the Twitch channel. I'm just wondering uh, how many, if anyone out there uh, got that, Got that message, and if so, welcome. Really excited to have you aboard on our Twitch channel, um, and thanks for thanks for joining us here. But either way, the reason I ask is that we have probably doubled the followers now. We're into the 600s level of followers, which we were at 300 the last time I streamed on this channel. So literally double, double the uh, the number of um, followers now than there were before. Uh, Goldie says, oh, I noticed it, but I'm a content creator for Scopely, so I was coming to check it out. Awesome. Uh, good to know. That's helpful context. Um, <laughs> Jeremy says, Scrabble Go, I should check it out, where the two of us have had a revolving game for quite some time, so obviously I'm fully aware that Jeremy is on there. Um, all right, I only have a minute left, so I need to start making moves a little bit faster here. So I need to be uh, getting rid of some of these vowels, and I think I will do something like um, something here, maybe. I don't want to make too big of a spot, actually. Should I exchange? Should I just play O E here? Let's let's try this. Let's just try this. Oh my God, two eyes. So with this, so the two eye draw is uh, not very good. But if I were to get a T somehow out in space, I think I could play initiate. Um, <laughs> what is Scrabble Go? Scrabble Go. Thank you, WTF, for that helpful question. It is a mobile app offering. Uh, more Scrabble. All right, Vine. I'm going to play Inia and a Vine and uh, just play quick, as quick as I can, blocking off a lot of these letters, the G and the R. I guess now I'm a little bit regretting playing um, OE because this is like the last really scary bingo threat. There is also the possibility of Zags and Cruels. So other than that, though, 
Um, feeling pretty good. Let's just see. Ooh, juried. Um, I don't think I have a great way to play through this J. I think, oddly, I need to use two E's here to keep the best leave possible. I'm a little worried about playing that. I'll just play... Um, let's see. Dare I do something like this just to block? I don't. I think I actually that was a lot of points. So let's just do this. Tilt, tiltier, <laughs> not quite. Jiltier, not quite either. Um, so uh, Meal PJ says I noticed the pop up too. Cool, good to know. Um, yeah, tiltier is definitely something that could be um, that could be valid. Ah, you know, Jeremy, that's a good idea. I definitely have been toying with the idea of, um, you know, part of the Twitch channel here is that we're imagining that it will be a great way for us to promote our new web platform just because that platform will lend itself a little bit better to uh, live streaming and efforts like that. But I definitely feel like there is some potential to do some cool Scrabble Go content as well. We definitely don't want to forget about that. Okay, this is uh, this is bad. I have this nice leave, but I don't have a great place for it to play. So uh, I'm a little worried here that I've created a pretty bad situation for myself, and I need to make a spot for me to fit a bingo somehow. Um, where where I will accomplish that, I really don't know actually. So, um, <laughs> I guess, I guess I'll hope to draw a bingo starting with T. That's not, that's really unappealing. So I'll just, uh, I need to just play something. I'll play this. Uh, nope, I don't think so. I haven't really, I feel like I'm a little off now with, with such little time. Uh, suggestion of Jetter. Yeah, Jetter, oddly, that is n actually somehow not valid. You would think that that would be a, a, a word in the dictionary, but somehow it's amazingly, it isn't. But um, yeah, oh, okay, fix. So the computer is really doing awesome here. Um, I also have a time penalty, so I'm really, <laughs> I'm really in some trouble here, actually. How am I supposed to extricate myself from this? Um, this lane is just not very good. So I guess I'll just do this and hope for the best. Ugh. Okay. Um, all right. This game is slipping away a little. I'm sure that there were some inflection points here that would have allowed me to play this game very differently. Um, so that's okay. I'm still not. I'm still in it. Like I haven't lost yet, but it's it's looking grim. So we'll have to see. But um, yeah. So all right, nice. <laughs> That's a really good play. Oh wait, this isn't Trindler. Is not a word. Trindle is a word. So that should do it here. Um, sure, I'll play Trindle and accept defeat. Um, so yeah, it was fun. I think, um, overall I was pretty happy with how I played this weekend. I definitely did not play perfectly. Um, and it's really hard. I mean, in this game, it's very hard to play perfectly. So, um, it's, uh, you know, you think about, you think about those games that if you're a, a top ranked player, you go into these games and there are going to be some handful of games that are really difficult to win. You're going to have to play nearly perfectly if you want to win them. But it's still possible, right? Like, it's still theoretically possible. And I feel like I had a bunch of games like that where my my margin for error was really small, but I maybe could have pulled it out. So this game was not like that. I think I had ample opportunities to win this this one. Um, Goldie says we need to distract the computer for 11 minutes. Yeah. So the funny thing is playing blitz, playing really fast against the computer, you can actually cause it to time out. So, um, I might do that now just to see if I can do that. 
Um, suggestion of enter, yeah, that that could have been a possibility. All right, cool. We have a challenge from Dustin. Let's do it. So anybody should feel free. Uh, if you, you are interested in playing me in a game, I, I would love to play any and all takers, whatever dictionary you prefer. You just have to, in order to find me, uh, you have to go to the main screen. And uh, what you would do is in the play a friend window, you type wanderer15 and make sure that you pick not these, not these two, but instead you pick the one, pick the one where this little picture shows up here. Um, this, this picture of me holding the giant check. You have to, if you challenge that one, you will, you'll get me. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and play Dustin and see how it goes. So um, <laughs> you've been playing French WTF, is that true? I'm happy to try. I played a game in French um, I played a game in French with the assist. Uh oh, what happened here? Oh, I know what happened. There we go. See my little bit scuffed setup on the back end. I figured it out. Um, so uh, Goldie says I don't think I'd fare well against somebody holding a giant check. But here's the thing: the thing about that is that Scrabble is a game where there is enough luck that eventually. You can beat almost anybody. You do have to get to a certain level of ability to beat, you know, a national champion level player. But once you get a little bit better at Scrabble and learn the basics um, of the game, you can defeat people who are much better than you are. And that's, you know, I think that's a really cool part of Scrabble. Some people might be annoyed at that part, um, but I actually... I think that's a, a, a feature, not a bug of Scrabble, for sure. Okay, let's see here. So I've got two O's and two R's. Definitely wanting to rid myself of one of each of those, and then some, I mean, if I can, and then some more stuff after that, too. So um, it's not looking like it'll be very easy. Nice play by Dustin to play Yond in this particular spot. And the reason that it's so nice is that this O is not bordering any of the um, bonus squares, so I can't really overlap this in a productive way. Axer Typo in the chat, there he is. Hopefully recovered a little bit from an absolute marathon performance as the lead commentator this weekend. Amazing job to Josh on all of his efforts there. Um, Really excited to you know hear from Josh uh, on his next stream and just hear what his uh, thoughts were about this event that took place over the weekend. Um, so, yeah, Jeremy agrees that it's a good thing that a lower skilled player can beat a higher skilled one. That's you know, I there are every every game's different with how much luck is involved. Um, chess very difficult to beat a higher skilled player poker you could sit down at a poker table and beat a higher skilled player for you know a lot of time so i wonder if i should just do this this looks a little weird leaving i o r but i suppose the nice thing about it is that again it gets rid of my o and r of which i have two of each and the w and the y are not the best bingo tiles and obviously early in the game you always are at least thinking a little bit about getting that first bingo down. So I'll try this, I suppose. Um, all right. So this looks pretty good. I should, depending on what Dustin does, I have at least some things that I'm threatening here. Wait, do I not have the ability to... Oh, I think... Is my keyboard messed up? Let me just refresh and see. Because I'm having issues. Okay, no, it's back. Um, so I have this, how in the world do I see, do I see that, the, the bingo through the Y? Um, so now I have this, um, which is nice. I mean, that's, that's all I got, Josh. That's all, that's all I got as you, as you know, as you know, um, 
So all I got is my words, my beautiful words. Um, there is also, I don't think this is in this dictionary. I would never play this in this game, but this is also a word in the UK dictionary. I'm pretty sure the only playable thing that I'm going to have here is through this H, and that's what I'll do. Oh, man. Look at this. Okay, this is a great rack. So there are some a number there is a number of cool stuff that's immediately coming into mind. The first thing would be this. <laughs> if I could play that, that would be fun. And then I don't know if this is good, but if I were to be able to play to a P or something on the board, I'm not sure if that's valid in this in this variant but that would be pretty amazing to play a 3b word here so this is kind of up to dustin to help me i need i need a p uh at least to try that word so we'll see what i have available okay we don't get we don't get anything from dustin there which is fine that's his prerogative to not give me amazing content such as bibimbap on the stream um all right so now, am I missing anything other than those words? Um, I am assuming not. Do I have anything from here? I doubt it. I mean, this is not, this is not a very inspiring play. Let's think about this. So um, just like with my play of dowry, we still, the pressing issues here are the multiple eyes. So I really would love to play an eye if I could. Um, and one of the Bs, at least one of the Bs, I think I'm going to want to give up here. So hold on a sec. Let me just make sure that there. Um, I guess I could play something just like, no, I thought I would be able to play something like, like cab here, but I don't think that makes sense. Anything to the L. Hmm. I don't know. This might be this might be a a move that doesn't have a super satisfying answer. Maybe I should just play this. <laughs> that doesn't feel great, but at least it's no. You know, here's you know what. So something like Mabira looks a little weird, but at the same time, it does have at least some positive effect of blocking this giant S hook on Clothiers. It gives back multiple spots in response on the triple lane, but that's okay if you're going to make one spot. Sometimes it's okay as long as you make two spots and guarantee yourself one of the two. Um, I don't feel I don't feel great about any play that I've seen so far. Um, Ova. Again, I see my clock ticking. I guess this is kind of scary too, the big S hook here. Even so there's the S here and the S here are both really damaging. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how to proceed here actually. All right, I think in the interest of time, I'm just going to play this because it gets rid of one of my two Bs and one of my two Is and scores 22 points, and I don't really see a great other play that does those things. So um, that's a little weird. I'm not sure I love that play. Um, this is NWL, so by 7G. Yeah, okay, so yes. So this play would not have been an option here. Um, but I do like it. If I did have this option available, I think I'm kind of liking that. Also, another idea would have just been to play like Cami here for more points when, when I back when I still had the M. All right, nice play there. That's a pretty solid score. 
by Dustin. The game is still really, really close. Um, now I wonder if is is it worth me playing something like bow here? A boil, maybe a boil is more what I should do just to create more space just because I have the blank. I want to be able to play it. Um, there might be some bingos. I'm seeing like abwa, abwa, do, abwato. I don't think I'm missing a bingo to the end, but... Uh, I'm just going to go with my instinct and assume that I'm not. I, I, I'm i going to play a boil here, which is kind of weird to leave this bottom triple open and take this less appealing triple, but I think it makes sense. Okay, I, now I surely should be able to bingo next turn somewhere. Um, something with the, uh, the B, the A. A has bingos, but I'm not sure if they fit. Hey, Gurchi, what's going on? Gurchi, did you watch any of the coverage of the Canadian Scrabble Classic this weekend? Um, and if so, what did you think? I'm curious. If you missed it, there was a lot of it. So that's, I mean, there was a lot. Awesome. Great to hear. Hope you enjoyed. Obviously, I didn't watch... Um, as much of the coverage as I surely would have been glued to it had I not been playing in it myself. <laughs> Go Rob says, must see TV. She's biased because she was a part of the must see TV. Co Rob appearing on stream with none other than myself in the first game of the stream on Friday, as well as the victor in the epic burrito match between Axer Typo and, and Heidi. So that was that was hilarious and amazing, a great addition. So, um, but uh, yeah, I I look forward to sort of rewatching it. I don't know if I'll have the ability to watch it in you know huge chunks of time the way you guys did when it was live. But I'm definitely going to try to make sure that over time, over the next week or two that I watch as much of it as I can and get a feel for, you know, how it went cuz it seemed like the responses were overwhelmingly positive. Um only time only time she can watch is if I'm participating. Yeah. I mean, that's I definitely respect that. In fact, you know what was funny? I was looking at some of the old I was looking at some of the old YouTube videos on the Scrabble Go channel, including a series of videos that I did with a bunch of players from uh, the UK in a charity event that they played on Scrabble Go. And I was looking at the comments and there was a woman named Margaret something. And there are not that many comments on this video, even though there's a fair amount of views. And this woman commented, I don't want to hear this guy. I just want to play. <laughs> about me right so i was doing voiceover commentary on the game and and her comment on the youtube video was don't want to hear this guy just want to play i mean i can find this actually i could find this so i'm gonna play neuron and hope that dustin doesn't have that big of a play hold on let me find this what i'm talking about because i had to laugh when i saw that it was so funny and i was like you know what more power to you who am i to disagree not everyone's gonna want not everyone's gonna want to listen to me. Much as I much as I like to believe that I am incredibly charismatic and that every single person on earth should want to uh hear the amazing wisdom that I have to say and my incredible witticisms, but some people just wanna play. Um and just to just to acknowledge that fact and realize that there could be people that love Scrabble incredibly but just will never really be that interested in this type of content. That's okay. I think there's enough people out there that would be interested if only they knew where to find us, if we get better at providing that content, all that sort of stuff. Um, so let me see if I can find this here. Okay, it's here somewhere. Was it this one? I'm going to prove to you the truth of this. Nope, not these. So Dustin's going to be waiting for his next play here. 
Was it this one? Yeah, okay, here it is. I found it. Okay. All right, well, we actually have a number of interesting comments. So this, this video has three comments. I'm gonna make this nice and big. So here it is, um, standby gang. So here, screen cap only. Okay, so here's, the, here's this video, right? I did, well, ignore this ad, be gone, skip, skip yourself. Okay, so I, did, I edited these videos well over a year ago as Dustin's made his next play, right? So basically in this video, I do a full breakdown of a Scrabble Go game that's played between two experts, okay? I thought I did a great job in this video, but look at this. Margaret Thorns. I want to play, not listen to this guy. What can I say, Margaret? More power to you. This is another very hot take from the real E. Rekka. I quit YouTube. I'm sorry. Apology accepted, first of all. Secondly, Scrabble is trash. Now that one, that one I'm a little less, I'm a little less inclined to agree with. Um, so yeah, anyway, there you have it. That's what I was just looking through our YouTube, <laughs> looking to our YouTube, uh, looking through our old YouTube VODs, if I could ever speak that phrase. And I thought that was actually kind of funny. Um, all right. That's going to be a lot of points as we go back to this game. 103. I feel like I'm just going to pop this down. I can't imagine that's not correct. Um, 103 big points for me. Um, yeah, okay, you guys are, all right, I'm, I'm catching up on the chat now. The idea is that watching Scrabble makes you want to play, for sure. Um, did she conflate watching YouTube videos of Scrabble to playing? Yeah, that could be. Her, her angst may have been that, um, that she thought that, she was going to be able to play a game by clicking on this link. And instead I'm just talking and blabbing. I'm just talking to her. Um, and that was deeply disappointing. And I can respect that too. The only take on that, uh, the only take on those three comments that I don't understand is why would you go to a Scrabble video? I guess the YouTube algorithm maybe predicted that that guy was going to like the Scrabble content, and it turned out that he really didn't like it at all. Um, but uh, yeah, Scrabble is definitely not trash. That I dispute. I dispute that Scrabble is trash. But if you're not interested in, uh, if you're just wanting to play as opposed to listen to me talk, I don't hold it against you. So, um, Meal PJ says, I followed because it seemed interesting and glad I did. Not great, was looking for tips. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the beauty to me of Scrabble is that it is really rewarding at any level that you are playing to feel like you're improving, right? Because what does improvement represent in Scrabble? You know, there are other games where improvement is like, you know, you're learning to, uh, you know, hone your fast twitch muscles even faster in a video game or something like that. But in Scrabble, when you're improving, you're improving your critical thinking skills, you're improving your vocabulary, you're learning new words, you're learning things that have carryover outside of the game into other areas of your life. So like there's definitely, to me, I feel like Scrabble is a very rewarding game to improve at. That's always been the case for me. And I think that transcends whatever specific ability level you have. And it goes more into, it's just sort of a, a feature of the game that it's really fun to get better at. Um, so never feel like uh, just because you're less experienced at this game that it's not, that it's you know, hopeless for you or anything like that. It's just a really fun game to, to play and get better at. So I guess I have the ZD hook here. I have these wonderful, beautiful bingo tiles. I shouldn't really be that uh, concerned about bingoing here. Maybe for that reason, I should be playing something like Dirts just to get a little closer to the end of the game and try to draw some vowels. Um, so this is where I would start looking at the tile pool here. 
of um, how many vowels do I have to draw. If there were a ton of vowels left, I might actually play something like this, thinking that with my LRST, it's going to fill out with vowels. I may yet still play this. Um, not to say that I'm not going to play this. Um, Something like this could be all right. I think it's worth noting, too, that Yond does not take an S. So you might be saying to yourself, is there a big opportunity for Will to play a bingo down to Yond's? Not really. So um, we'll have to see. I don't really. There is an eight-letter word through this A of triclads. It doesn't actually fit. I think I actually will go ahead and play this just because the board is really nice and closed to have a big lead on. Um, so you can learn something valuable from every person you play. Absolutely. I have found that to be true for sure. Um, and that's, that's another, it's, you know, it's not only that you absolutely can learn by playing a wide cross section of people, you can learn new words, you can learn new approaches and strategies to the game. But there's also, for me, there's a sense that I can learn something from my own play in any game that I play against anyone of any difficulty level or experience level. Like every game feels like a learning opportunity as well. Um, but uh, I think it's probably more fun to learn lessons from others, right? To get that to get that um, you know, pastiche of different types of people and word knowledge and strategies. And some people may approach the game completely differently in ways that um, once you become more familiar with that, you can incorporate a lot of those things into your own game as well. So, all right, I haven't gotten, at least I drew one vowel, which is nice. Um, maybe, so I have an S. So any play that I make here, this is like a logical, with all these consonants, it definitely feels logical to set up my S with a play like Mel. The problem is there are three S's unseen, and I feel like it's very, very, very likely that Dustin has one of his own, so I probably don't want to do that. Um, but uh, maybe just like Mirror or something. Yeah, I don't know. This is... This is, do I have some play through this O? I mean, just mole is a really uninspiring play. Korob says, I'm clearly people-driven, not quackle-driven. Yeah, I think, well, it's worth noting also that the overall population of people that even know what quackle is. So if you were watching the broadcast, you saw our own uh, Matthew O'Connor, a very, very talented uh, Scrabble player using an engine called Quackle to analyze completed games in the tournament. And that is something that, if I were to think about the total number of people who play Scrabble and the total number of people who would even dream of analyzing their games in Quackle, it's the, a tiny, tiny microscopic fraction of 1%. So like the idea of treating Scrabble as a game that you are going to analyze and learn from, it from is definitely something that is for the real um, upper upper echelon crazy Scrabble fans out there. Um, thank you very much to Hazel Does Stuff um, for the raid. Thanks for popping aboard. Appreciate that. Um, so Gertie says, rare compared to using a chess engine, for sure. And that may change as Scrabble sort of, um, hopefully we get more tools to sort of this is, I think this is Collins, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so, oh, and it blocked sultrally. Oh, Dustin. How are you going to block me playing sultrally? Oh, man. Sultrally is so fun. And I don't get to play it. Um, that's okay. I forgive you. Um, let's see. I guess I need to play something like Lilt, even though it leaves a U, just to block that top lane of the board we'll do that we'll do that um so yeah i mean using a chess engine i think one of the reasons that people use chess engines is that a lot of chess engines are just embedded right on chess.com or lee chess and other chess sites like those tools are already ingrained on the website 
there are definitely plenty of people that have standalone chess engines, but I have you know and use them uh, to analyze their chess games. But I definitely think that if we can get to the point where our analysis tools are embedded within our online platforms, that's going to go a long way. And you can see that already with Woogles, for example, post game post game analysis. I'm sure that at some point they're going to have fully integrated. Uh, like simulation in the browser. Um, and definitely that's something that we aspire to do for Play Scrabble as well, is to have there be really robust game analysis tools that just make it really easy. Um, I, think may, I think the issue is mostly that it's really tough right now. You have to be incredibly motivated to go and get all of these Scrabble analysis tools to help improve your game in that way. And it's a really high bar to clear. There's not that many people who are that motivated by any hobby they have, let alone Scrabble. So if we can make it easier, ooh, nice play. Anisol, that's really nice. Uh, three tiles in the bag. So I think I'm going to be fine pretty much any any time that I play only two tiles here, I'm going to win this game. So let's just play Je and finish this one off. <laughs> the... The Woogle simulator is actually a crypto miner. Shouldn't have allowed me access to the code base, guys, says the reinked. The reinked, the, no the notorious, uh, the notorious um, prankster. That's one of your best pranks yet. Um, to I infiltrate your way into the Scrabble community to the extent that you can then gain the trust of Scrabble app developers uh, and enrich yourself with cryptocurrency. That's pretty. That's a pretty good long con, I have to say. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty impressive grift for sure. So anyway, uh, tough game for Dustin. Obviously, here I drew a massive bingo of diaphone and the other blank here. So there's not a ton. I don't think that Dustin could have done in this game. I have to say, I give huge props to Dustin for popping onto this stream, Axer Typo streams on Thursday, and continuing to challenge both of us pretty much every time. Um, really, really appreciate that. And it's, you know, given, I just can't even imagine uh, sort of getting into a game and um, going up against, you know, champion level players and uh battling wits with them before you even work your way up the ladder of you know um the normal progression in these games of you know i'm gonna start out playing people that i can beat dustin's going straight to me and josh <laughs> the story of his life drawing the bag well, uh, I would say it's predominantly the story of my life. I would say anybody that was here watching the finals between me and Jason Keller might say that at least some points of my life, I don't always draw the bag. I would say in general, uh, in general, I have been blessed by fortunate draws at important times in my Scrabble career, right? Like, um, I've had a couple tournaments where at exactly the right time where I needed to draw something really special, I was able to do that. So, you know, I had a tournament where I was up against Nigel Richards a bunch of times over and over, a tournament where uh, obviously the Nationals in 2017, I just, I should do a video series on some of those games, frankly, um, because they were just incredible. I had a number of games at Nationals that were unlike any game I'd ever played really played before in terms of how lucky I was getting and they all happened in the same tournament um so uh Arlong says I think playing much stronger players in this game is more beneficial than playing a, a grandmaster in chess and Arlong has just sent me a game request so we can hop right into that game thank you very much for the game Arlong is a player that I actually just met uh this past weekend as well it was a real pleasure to meet him um, yeah, drawing the bag is sort of a, a colloquial, you know, way of saying that you drew the vast majority of the good tiles in the game. And of course, at that tournament level, uh, that really highly focuses on, I would say, the two blanks, the four S's, and then 
you know, did you also get a smattering of uh, timely uh, seven and eight letter words? Maybe they don't have those letters in them. Did you get the Z? The Z is a great tile. Were you able to score a ton with the X, for example? Um, but really the blanks and S's are those super valuable tiles where if you're going up against a good player and they draw both blanks and all four S's or three S's, you're going to be in trouble against that person. So yeah, draw retinas. That's right. Somebody's been, somebody's been watching, uh, my back catalog on YouTube. Um, so Oh man, another raid, two raids so far. This one from Gerhard Adler with a party of 10. Thank you so much to uh, to Gerhard Adler for the raid. Um, hope you guys had a great stream just now. Uh, let me know in the chat what you guys were streaming. I'm just curious. Um, but uh, here we, I, as you might expect from a channel called twitch.tv slash Scrabble, we're playing a lot of Scrabble on the channel. Um, so, all right, let's see. So I am taking challenges from viewers and it is my turn in this game. My opponent has played meats and I've got a decent looking rack. I'm just trying to think, is it possible that I can use all of my letters here or am I gonna have to settle for something a little less ambitious? Oh, streaming NES Tetris, that's amazing. Did I draw Ketoxime out of the bag? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did, uh, Co Rob. That was my first rack of the tournament, in fact. And I was sitting there saying to myself, I feel like she's absolutely going to play a T or an O. Like, there's no way she's not going to play a T or an O just because she is who she is and I am who I am. <laughs> it happened. I'm so sorry. Um, all right. So um, I just knew it somehow. So, okay. So, what are my objectives here i want to see if i have a seven or eight letter word i don't have a seven for sure i'm trying to see maybe through the m t or s i don't believe like something like this is you know if you are this is what this word is what uh margaret thorns is when she is watching scrabble videos by will anderson on youtube she really finds a way to you know to outbore herself it is like the most boring possible thing she has outboard herself unfortunately <laughs> that's not not gonna help me very much here um so if i could come up with a good play with this M, I mean, I guess I, <laughs> this is really uninspiring. 24 points leaving a U, that just can't be correct. The U, I feel like almost any play that I would wanna make here, uh, I really wanna use a U somewhere. Um, so let's see what I can do to accomplish that. Something like, um, I would love to use one of my two O's and a U and a B. So something like this is what I would like. Um, you know, Dumbo or something only scores 10 points. It leaves a much nicer leave. I feel like I should be able to get more points than that here. Um, maybe it's possible that if I just play something like I don't know. This is kind of tricky. Just boa? I mean, that doesn't feel right at all. At least my leave is slightly balanced with the exception of the U if I do something like that. I guess I want to find the longest thing possible that uses the U through this M. What would that be? Maybe just broom, actually. So the reason that I would consider playing... The reason that I would consider playing broom here is just that it does leave the U, but at least it also leaves the ED combination that takes a lot of the sting out of it. Um, you know, ED is so strong that as long as I draw decently alongside this U, it shouldn't be that big of a disaster. Whatever. We got to play something, so let's do it. Oh, man. Okay, so that was this was not, not the, the draw that I wanted to see. But that's okay. 
Um, Obdure. Yes. Are it, but is that valid? It, I discarded. I discarded it because I thought it wasn't valid in this lexicon. So we're playing English US, but if obdure is actually valid here, then I will consider that to be a miss. Okay. So it does it is it is in Collins. Um but yeah, that I definitely had that word cross my mind as something that would be kind of appealing to play, a couple different spots for it to play too. Um yeah, why why is that valid in Collins when obdurate is valid in NWL? Don't I don't even pre presume to be able to explain. Okay, zeal for Arlong. Um, this is a very. I think there's a word that's like. No, I don't. I can't play, vivo here or anything like that. This. This is going poorly. Um, the two V's and the U together are extremely bad. So um, I could easily imagine, you know, this would be a possibility in the UK lexicon. It's not one here. I don't think I really want to play Vive here, which is... Uh, I think this is looking like an exchange scenario just because... This S is still really, really nice. And I have some good bingo tiles with the ED in my hand here in my rack. So I think I have to not resign, not skip, but swap. And I think we're going to go down to just ED and see what we get. Okay. Uh, well, this is an improvement. I wouldn't say that this is the best. Oh, okay. So now, <laughs> now I'm in a little trouble. So I'm losing by over 100. This could be bad news, especially because uh, Arlong definitely knows what he's doing. Um, and coming back from a deficit like this is going to be tough. This is not in this, or I would play that. Um, how about... Maybe just Glee. Ugh, I don't think I can play Glee. I need to, yeah, I need to use, okay. So again, this is where I'm going to try to define my objectives here. What do I want to do here? I want to use a D. I want to use my G. And I want to try to score as many points as I can while leaving some nice combination of these letters behind. So how will I do that? Um, like Geode only scores 11, but it leaves really nice letters with a bunch of nice tiles. Like all these tiles are really nice to play through and I need bingos in a hurry. So I'm sort of tempted to do that. Um, is there some longer play through there? I, man, I mean, something like delete. Well, I wouldn't play it there. Well, I could. 24 leaving a G. I don't think that's good enough. I think I am actually going to play Geode and just force... Um, force Aaron to try to close this if he if he wants to. Okay, so I have this rack here, and the nice thing about that is I have this for 64, and I have this, whoops, here for 63 in a spots that are going to be very difficult to block. Hey, Chess Bunzo, how are you? Uh, good to see you. Chess Bunzo, were you watching any of the coverage of the Canadian Scrabble Classic? And if so, what were your thoughts? Um, definitely eager to hear what you uh, thought of it. Obviously, I was competing for most of it, but what I did see of the coverage looked amazing. Just wanting to hear everybody's thoughts um, because a lot of cool things were sort of pioneered and tested on this broadcast and I'm hopeful that we can carry over for some of our other broadcasts for Scrabble events in the future. Um, so I'm losing by 101. I am going to bingo on my next turn. Um, just want to shout out again the raid that we received from Gerhard Adler uh, playing Tetris. I just want to say that I follow a couple Tetris channels on Twitch and they are a lot of fun. I actually just saw that um, Monthly Tetris, the channel Monthly Tetris, recently uh, reached uh, Twitch partner status, I think. After basically, it seemed like every time I watched that channel, they had well over the viewer threshold. So for whatever reason, I don't know why it took 
the amount of time that it did. Um, but they've reached that threshold, and it was really cool. Um, okay, so nice play of with blocking up the board and scoring quite well. So I have a ton of work to do even after this play. So delegate, I feel like I have to play this unless I'm missing something. Teaseled doesn't quite fit with a hook to with, so we're going to have to do this. Okay, that's nice. Um, do I have some crazy ology word? Probably not. Um, awesome. Great news to hear. Chess Bunzo says it was awesome. Gertie says, I liked how the stream was put together. Seemed very professional. Get rid of all the Joshes. Yeah, we got to do some name changing of some of these Joshes. There's just too many of them. So we need to do some kind of contest to figure out which Joshes can keep the name Josh, I feel like. We need to do a tournament. We This would be great content. Wow. Actually, let's think about Let's flesh this out. Can we do a con? Can we? Oh, thank you, Co Rob, for the prime. Appreciate that. Um, though, <laughs> um, I mean, we. I, it must be said that um, you know we we're definitely trying to make this channel sort of sustainable, in the sense that to the extent that people are willing to use their primes and stuff on it, we're gonna. It's gonna be easier to reinvest. Um, more of our sponsorship monies in the channel. So not to not to guilt trip anybody into using primes or stuff on here, but I'm really hopeful that it can become a really obvious value proposition for us to keep putting lots of great content out there. Thank you very much, though, Co Rob. We appreciate that very much. Um, but uh, yeah, let's talk about this tournament. Like, can't, oh, okay. I, that's a couple people now have said that too too much de defining what a bingo is. So that's interesting. Um, something that's actually helpful to know. Um, but what? Yeah, a tournament where all of the Joshes compete, and the you know the loser has to change their name officially away from Josh. That would be pretty good content, if you ask me. I feel like that would be a pretty electrifying, you know, a pretty electrifying prospect okay so am i supposed to just bomb my x and the board is just the board is just a disaster here maybe i'm supposed to play glay and cover that spot and just do my best to hold this x and outscore my way back this is really not great um Got disconnected, didn't realize my sub had lapsed. Yeah, oh, well, I mean, it's worth noting that, like, this channel is not, is not the, is not the Wanderer 15 channel, if that's where you were subbing before. This is a totally different new channel, but either way, it's great for anybody with Twitch Primes at, that's watching Scrabble stuff to, to use it. Um, so, I guess Glay... For 48. Oh, my God. Let's just go ahead. Let's just try. So if I do that and I get XI on the next turn, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Co-Rob, Co don't you worry about it. Don't worry. It's totally fine. I absolutely have not been streaming enough to warrant anybody giving me their Twitch Primes anyway. The only thing I would say is, like, if, if you're somebody out there that's looking to, you know, support Scrabble streaming in general... This is obviously a great choice, but, you know, going over to somebody like Axer Typo's channel, right? That would be a great recipient for a Twitch Prime to me. Josh is, Josh is uh, you know, Josh Sokol is spending a huge amount of time and energy uh, just pouring energy into Scrabble promotion, Scrabble content. Um, really couldn't really be doing any of this without him. And uh, definitely... I feel very invested in uh, rewarding him for those efforts. So if people, yeah, next month for sure. So n when this one expires and uh, you get your Twitch Prime back next month, definitely give it to Axer Typo as, as I, well, I already subscribe to his channel just period. Um, but if any primers out there uh, want to support a great Scrabble content creator, Axer Typo it would be my choice for sure. The big Josh fight in Nebraska. <laughs> nice. Um, it's funny that that meme was actually a group chat of Josh's. That's right. 
Um, don't know which Josh I'm allergic to, which is why I said I'm allergic to the name Josh. Yes, if you, you can't take any chances. If you're allergic to a specific Josh, then it's the only way to be safe is uh, to be wary of all Joshes. As I forgot to put it on the nice big screen here. Okay, so I'm in a little trouble. I'm losing by 60 points. I made a play that scored 48. That's pretty good, but I deliberately kept this tile on my rack, which is rarely, if ever, going to bingo. I did that so that I could follow up with a play here. Um, I will potentially have this for 40 again. This is really not a play that I love because I'm going to continue to need to come back and maybe need another bingo and the only really good spots, uh, especially now after uh, Arlong's play of Warn, the only good spot to bingo is going to be this T, and that's going to get covered up pretty quickly. That being said, I think for this amount of points, I pretty much have to do this, and I will have to work on opening the board more efficiently at some later time. Um, so we'll do this. I'm narrowing the gap just a little bit. Um, and we're just going to have to kind of grind this one out, unfortunately. Um, oh, did I miss Rue? Uh, was that playable somewhere or were you just defining, were you just defining it because it was on my rack? Um, speaking of Rue, um, the new, the new season of Top Chef is on. I just realized that my wife and I are going to have to be watching Top Chef episodes later today for sure. We love that show, even though I, we really live vicariously through the chefs because we're not very adventurous diners, but we love the show anyway. So, um, yeah. Ah, defining because it was on my rack. It's a Rubik's Cube solving method. Oh, R-O-U-X is a Rubik's Cube solving method. So actually, um, I have somewhere. Oh, it's not in this room. It's in the other. It's in my other room. Hold on a second. Well, never mind. Um, I have a I have a Rubik's Cube that I got from Fort Wayne, uh, a site of the National Scrabble Championship several years ago. Ooh, an exchange. That's helpful for me, um, first of all. But I got a I got a Rubik's Cube from an actual champion level from the at the time the a record holder in one of the formats. Um I got a Rubik's Cube from them as a souvenir. So it was really cool. Hey Kaijo, what's going on? Good to see you. Um okay, so do I have some like you know, some something in in this spot, like you know, some, something in there would be absolutely amazing. I would hate to miss something like that here, but I don't think I have anything like that. Um, I think I'm probably stuck playing something here, unfortunately, like Forb. Um. The reason I would do this is just it gets the F and the B off the rack, and maybe, just maybe, I get super lucky, draw blanks, and, you know, play play something to this T or from that G. Um, yeah, I, I just don't. I don't have wonderful prospects here, but at least I'm close to tied in the game. Oh, wow, look at that. So I have, I have a seven-letter bingo here. I'm very, very dubious that I'll get a spot to play. Yeah, sure enough, it blocks, Arlong blocks off the bottom part of the board. So this is going to be tricky. Um, un yeah, uh, it's going to be, this IN is going to be really hard to fit. So I'm just, I'm doing my due diligence and trying to figure out is there a way that I can get all the way, but it's doesn't seem very likely. So, all right. So I'm still losing by a lot. The board is really tight, really closed. Um, in, in Kerr, I mean, this is very uninspiring, pretty easy to close. 
I don't even know what I'm really hoping for after this. Maybe I'm supposed to play something from the B or something down with Za that opens more lanes effectively. Maybe I'm supposed to play Uncia or something. Yeah, you know, this might be a good way to go. The reason this is kind of cool is that it's difficult to hit the triple. It opens a C out in space that's very difficult for Arlong to score well with without opening me new lanes. And with these two blanks lurking, I'm drawing five tiles, and I really need a blank here. I need a blank pretty badly. So maybe I'll play Uncia. Okay. So... That's helpful. Um, oh, hexatic. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yep, okay, I missed hexatic. So I guess that would have clearly been the best play. <laughs> Thank you, strategy. Appreciate that. Mm. Let's see. Do I have a play from... The C here, that's what I would love if I had a chur. Yeah, churroed. No, no churroed as a moving tribute to one of our um, uh, more recent Scrabble players, uh, Churro, who I'm not sure if she's here watching. But um, So yeah, let's see. What else have I missed? Uh, Nerd Alert says that he was watching the Paralympics but took time out for the tournament. That's awesome. Um, yeah, rooted for the USA and Ukraine. Fair, fair, fair enough. Um, definitely an interesting time geopolitically in the world, for sure. Not that that's the type of commentary that you're looking for on this channel, but, um, yeah, I don't see, I don't see my bingo from the sea here. I feel like I'm close, but not quite at a bingo here. Unhurried or something like that, maybe through here. Um, all right, Nerd Alert, if you're taking off, thanks for stopping by. Just looking for, just making sure I don't miss an obvious bingo here. I don't see it yet, but you know, I'm sort of going by instinct. It certainly wouldn't be crazy for me to just play churred here. Um, but if I could... Well, there is this spot, too. I don't have a great way of using this. This is not a good play, but it's uh, at least it's off the beaten path. I would never play this just because RRU is just too weak. Hey, I'm, hey, uh, I'm Angrisani. Nice to see you. How are you today? Um... Yeah, I was just, uh, I've been uh, plugging and just mentioning that we had many, many, many hours of Twitch coverage this weekend in which you may have seen me on the stream. I was not victorious, but I had a lot of fun, a lot of great games, amazing to be back playing over the board Scrabble. Ooh, be do. What to make of this? Um, hmm. A 10-point play there. A little scary. It's a little scary, frankly. I think I'll still play this, but I'm a little nervous just because there's only two E's. There's kind of a weird assortment of other tiles, but I think I'm going to do this and just um, continue to make more space, and let's see what I draw here. Hmm. Let me see here. Uh, one day I'll get to the point where I won't even consider brochured rather than sending... Oh, yeah, that would have been pretty cool. Um, <laughs> it's just uh, I'm not, not thinking about plays that creative here. Um, but that would be really, really nice. Um, if it were a word, I guess. It's not. So, all right. I feel like there must be something here. Blocking. So this is sort of what I was a little bit worried about when I used up all of these nice bingo tiles. So using R-E-D, these tiles right here, 
if I had a great way of scoring with just H-U-R somewhere, I'm sure I would have done it because the R and the E and the D are going to pair so much better with the blank than F, G, you know, even tiles like the O aren't that great. So I'm in, I'm in a little bit of a bind just because even after Arlong's next play, I'm still going to be losing, but I feel like I must have a bingo here somewhere, maybe. Maybe not. Um, maybe here? Clingify. Cling, cling on. I mean, this is oddly, you know, depending on depending on Arlong's next play. Okay, a Jew, a Jew for fourteen. That does kind of make me intrigued by playing Foining for forty. I feel like I win every game where no more bingos occur after this, but I don't know if I can do that in good conscience. Um. What else would I do then? Uh, I don't have very much time left either. Uh, Corf. It's only 18. All right, you know, I really don't have much time. I wouldn't do this under normal normal circumstances. I'm sure this is not, strictly speaking, a great play. I'm just going to do this because if Arlong doesn't bingo, I pretty much win almost every time after this. Um, so I feel like... Uh, it's also, I just drew a Q, but now I have to figure out a way to play up here without giving anything back, which is kind of tough. Almost anything I play up here is going to give overlaps back. Where else can I use the Q successfully here? Maybe he, maybe it's worth playing here, actually. I don't know. Tricky. I don't have a ton of time to contemplate these. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, um. Ooh, okay, that helps a lot. Because now I can just keep the Q, I guess, if I want. I can just play something like... Well, this is a little scary because I need that A if I'm going to play the Q up there. So maybe I should play the Q first. And then just any vowel that... Well, there actually aren't very many vowels that let me play down there. So this is, uh, boy, this is kind of tricky. Um, I guess I have hole. I have this here if I ne absolutely need it. Let's just do this. Okay, that was really lucky. I drew the O. I drew the O. So that will let me play here. And basically, as long as Arlong doesn't bingo, I should be okay after the after this. Um. <laughs> An abundance of sunshine and warmth this weekend provided mostly by me. <laughs> well, um, I I will not quibble. I will not quibble with the fact that you provided a lot of. Oh man. Oh no. This is scary. Um, I think what I have to do here is like prevent a bingo from going down here. So how do I do that? This is, I can take a time penalty to figure this out. So do I like... I need an adjective that ends, ends here. I guess it's possible that I'll dodge a bingo. I mean, I guess I could have... If I played fast enough, I could have potentially over... Uh, I could have outrun with a 50-point play. All right, I'm sure that there is a way for me to block this effectively. Oh, what if I... No, I can't just play the Y because blank and S is still going to be too good. All right, let's just go ahead and hope for the best. 
Let's see what he has. Oh, wow. I drew the blank. That's lucky. I don't think there's anything in this. That is so lucky. Um, anyway, just to, just to expound on the sunshine and warmth, I feel like there was a, a huge amount of, well, not warmth outside. Warmth was inside from all of the players getting to see each other at, after years, the multi-year pandemic. Um, but uh, certainly plenty of warmth radiating from Co-Rob and lots of other players too. But man, like, okay, let me just, uh, oh, I'm not going to lose if I take another minute of overtime. I'll just play Sincere or something. Sure, why not? Yeah, it really was awesome. I just, you know, it's it's only just now starting to become possible for us to get back over a board and play. But I would definitely say, like, for anybody that's kind of Scrabble curious, watching along and saying to themselves, like, is this something that I could do for myself too? I would say absolutely, right? Like, it's such a welcoming community. Arlong, my opponent in this game, was a first-time player at the uh, at the event this past weekend, and it seemed like he was like for years, as if he was a uh, you know a member of our world for years, just you know like a fish in water. Um, and for me, like I always say that um, my decision to take up Scrabble as like my number one hobby is like one of the best that I've ever made. Um. So, yeah. Gertie says, hoping to go to a, tr a real tournament someday, not a U.S. dictionary one, though. Yes. Um, you know, the dictionary stuff. Thanks, Arlong. My pleasure as well. Right back at you. Um, uh, it was awesome to meet you as well. Um, but, yeah, the, the dictionary thing, it is what it is. There's definitely... Um, that's a headwind that we face that games like chess do not chess has the one set of pieces and that's it. But, um, even with all of the headwinds and challenges and scrabble that we do face, I think we have just a really bright future this year and beyond. So, um, hoping we can continue all the positive momentum that we have been experiencing. Um, and really, really glad to hear all the positive vibes that you guys are putting out regarding the coverage of the event this weekend. That's definitely a huge part of the puzzle for us in the competitive community is we think we have a great product, a really fun, watchable product. We just have to get that muscle memory down of uh, presenting it to the world in a really compelling way. And that's something where we've had chances to do that before, but they've never been as realistic as they are now. So if anyone else would like to play on here, feel free to send me a challenge. I'll be happy to just play to play uh, another bot while we wait. If somebody wants to send that challenge in, um, I'm I will. Why don't I'll play a three minute game? That way, if anyone does want a challenge, you won't have to wait super long. Co Rob says you you I will. Okay. Um, not sure if you're if you have an account on here yet. It should be. Uh, you get there, you get there just by going to, wait, do I have the command? That, that, that's how to do it. So you can sign in really quickly with Facebook. If you prefer, you can sign in as a guest for now. Um, and you just, all you have to do, I'll, I'll talk you guys through it. If you're looking to send me a request, you just go sign on to the site however you do it you can sign in as a guest sign in with facebook sign in with something called scopely id which is basically just any email you choose and a password um and then you would click play a friend here this middle button and then you would type wanderer 15 in the box and make sure you challenge the one that has the picture of me holding the big check these other two accounts were testing accounts that need to be purged um, so you should see me, if you scroll down, an actual picture of me that you see in the corner. And just send me a request with whatever whatever game setting you like. Um, so what is this going on? Russian Scrabble. Um, you can change the message now. You're right. Yeah, I do need to change that because it is worldwide. Send link. Okay. Hold on. 
send a challenge link. Oh, so who's who sends the link to who? Can you send to me? I I think I need your I need your username. Is it is it Corob? No. Nope. Um. I yeah. In order for me to send a challenge link, I oh send me site link. Okay, stand by. Stand by. We will get this going. Hold on. Site link would just be here. Whoops. There. Um, go to my profile and send that specific link. How do I do that? Send me, where am I, where am I looking here? Copy URL, this one. Thanks for bearing with me, everybody. Yeah, and, and whatever, whatever dictionary is fine. I, I am happy to, happy to play anything. So, what am, um, what am I doing with this URL? Uh, wow, a Polish Scrabble player. One of my friends once triple dribbled with the rack of CC. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I have to, we have to know the word now. We have to know the word. Let me just see, is Mike messaging me on Slack? Um, oh, I'm sorry, nerd alert. I didn't mean to, if I said something wrong, I totally apologize. Um, just trying to challenge directly from my profile. How I've, I've, for some reason, I'm not aware of that. So I could copy this URL. And send it. How do I do that? Play a friend. Send a challenge link. All right, we'll we'll figure this out. I got a I got a game request from Chess Bunzo, which I'm gonna accept. But Co Rob, we'll figure this out for sure. We'll figure this out next next game. Well, assuming you're available. Um, yeah, I'll try to troubleshoot this while I'm playing this. Stand stand by. I have a nice set of letters here. I shouldn't have to think too hard about this. Um, okay, all right, bylaw. Wow, that's actually a really nice play with bad letters, 34 points. But unfortunately, I will just be able to play repines, which is significantly easier. Um, oh man, look at this too. This is a pretty good draw <laughs> for sure. Yeah, GL, GLHF to Chess Bunzo. Thank you very much for the game request. Of course, it's not going great for the time being. Um, oh, you can challenge direct from profile. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. Okay, I understand. So perfect. I'm gonna. I will figure this out. Whoops. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So I didn't even realize that. So if anyone, so if anyone wants to challenge me, they can do it from my profile, and there should be a button that lets you challenge. Okay, let me mess with this. 
Sorry, let me get the game board back up so you guys can see. Oh, X was played there. So now I have this beautiful set of letters. This beautiful Z. Surely I have some like, I mean, something like zero is going to be pretty amazing. Do I have, I guess it's probably okay for me to just play like dope though. Well, I don't know. I might play zero here, frankly. Um, all right, hold on. Let me just see what happens when I copy this. And if I go to another profile. Yeah, it does say that. Okay, you can, it's a, the invite to play button pops up. Okay, cool. All right, didn't realize that. That's really helpful. I can just link my profile. So if anyone's not finding me, I will make sure that I have this like copy, copy pasteable in the future. So here's how to find me, gang. This is my profile. Um, so yeah, that's how to find me. You just have to log on to the site, go to that place and click invite or play game or invite to play. I think it says, yeah, chat. Yeah, exactly. Chat. I need to add that. So, all right, I'm going to play zero here just because it scores 64 points. And I, maybe I have a bingo here, but maybe I should play this actually 33 leaving T blank. Uh, making a huge spot here too. These are all really close. Hmm. Is there an I-Z-E word? I highly doubt it. Okay, let's just go ahead and... Mm, I think if I play zero, it might be better like strategically, but I think this is a fun word and it's probably roughly as good. So I'll play this and see what we get. Um... Hmm. <laughs> the site clearly needs work. Yeah, I mean, we definitely are, you know, it's it feels like it's tough. The The new user experience is um, definitely have had plenty of people not super easy. Oh, if you're on mobile, that could be part of the problem. I'm not sure if that's, yeah, desktop might be the better way oh, i thought that was i know that is good oh i can play this okay you are on desktop hmm. okay so yeah i wonder is it just um it's just uh what well we can troubleshoot it at some point extra typo likes zero but, but Josh, what about from a fun words standpoint, right? Like if I played zero and something else, I wouldn't have gotten to play Zydeco and Oribotted. I probably would have played zero and something else. <laughs> Chess Bunzo says anyone could have found that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. I won't, I won't dox the chat here. Um, but when, but, but Korob, when you go to this link, when you go to this link, um, is there is there a uh, button that in the top right that says challenge user? Because hopefully that would that would let you challenge. Invite to play. Invite to play. Yeah, I haven't gone through that flow to know what it what will happen, but we'll we'll see. Okay, so yeah, Volost. Volost, that, this was mentioned on the broadcast as basically a variation of Burrito that some people have played. So if you remember, Korob played Extra Typo in a game of Burrito where the objective of the game is to play Burrito before your opponent. And um, Volost is a variation of that. So I'm pretty sure I would be playing something like this next turn, maybe this... If I feel that it's positionally superior. Oh, the nice, you know what? The nice thing about this is that I keep a T too. But I guess I need to think about that a little bit. Do I want to create a big T hook? 
in this area that's completely locked down. Probably not, but that's okay. So, there's certainly a lot of points on offer in this upper right. Maybe I need to, I haven't actually even really thought about finding a bingo here. So, <laughs> let me see if I can, let me see if I can find, look for a bingo before I, uh, oh, thought I saw an option for challenge. There is, there is a challenge option. So, oh, is it not offering? Interesting. Um, well, if you, if I, if I'm able to figure out what your username is, I can send you a challenge also, if you are not seeing the way to challenge me. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's really helpful. EF in the upper corner. It means that now I can just play this without even worrying about the T hook or opening the triple because, um, it's not, it no longer really fits. So we'll do that. If I missed a bingo, that's fine. I wasn't looking super hard. Um, Volost E. <laughs> that's very, very close to the winning. Well, I mean, it is the winning rack in Volost. All you have to do is play that word. So yeah, we saw Burrito on the stream. There are a number of other cool variants. There is a variant that's, uh, I wouldn't say popular. I mean, no variant of Scrabble is all that popular. Among the tournament community, there's definitely variations where, for example, one called Clabbers, where the reason it's called Clabbers is that Clabbers is an anagram of Scrabble. And for example, in Clabbers, I could play Jots. Or because Jots is a word, ooh, Ali, very nice. So just to continue my example, you could play Jots, or you could play this because there's a word in this, or you could play this, any variation of a valid word, any combination of letters that also forms a valid word is playable. So it creates a lot of insanity um, in the game. But uh, I definitely think that... Um, the the original Scrabble game is a pretty great formula. I don't need too many variations, but from time to time, I think it's a lot of fun to mess with your, yeah, that bluffing, yeah, Gurchy bluffing in Clabbers is definitely a thing, right? That's that's something that you could do when you're playing over a physical board, playing Clabbers. You could just force your opponent to challenge the word or they maybe they'll give you the credit that you don't deserve and say well i'm sure they i'm sure they see the word in there i won't challenge but actually there is nothing in there um all right i guess i'll do this maybe i should do this instead these are pretty close um this is probably a no, I mean, it's still, this blocks only one side of Ali. So maybe I should do this just because I keeping RST is such a great chance for me to bingo on either side of Ali on the next turn. Um, Mojo's, moving tribute to Mojo. Uh, Best says, hey, Best, nice to see you, by the way. Says, unfortunate you can't have Jorts, but Jorts should absolutely be in. Jorts is easily in common enough parlance to be in the dictionary, and I have every ex expectation that Jorts will become a word without question. Um, so, all right, I don't really know which pathway here is the best. This seems pretty reasonable to me. There are, there are a bunch of different, you know, things that I would like to close down. Jones does not do anything to address Ali E. But then again, oh, Wardius, very nice. Okay, so a good play by Chess Bunzo there to cut the gap quite a bit. Um, and now for me, I am going to... Probably play something like this. Oh, wait, I don't have an N. I was going to say Yenta, but I don't have that. So maybe just... 
maybe just rye or something. I don't want to play anything here that opens up more space than I have to. I definitely am feeling like something in this spot is where I would like to play. I want to play a Y and an E for sure. This is not nearly enough points. I can get way more points than that. Um, this is kind of fun. 35. It continues to leave this whole area open, though. Um, what would I just, what would I play here? Just this? This is going to bingo a lot. This is really going to bingo a lot. Let's do this. Okay, so I drew retires. Um, I guess it's also kind of difficult to like overlap in a way like the AE here makes it impossible to do a parallel play that cuts this lane off. So, yeah, Spork, another one. Spork is definitely one that I think should be destined to get in here. Um, so, oh, okay, just a quick clarification on my profile link that I put into the chat before. If you're not logged in, it won't show that link. You have to be logged into the site to get the challenge link. Um, all right, let's do retires. Oop, that's not what I want. I want something like that. That looks pretty good. Okay. So, um, Able to hit my bingo, as was going to happen a lot of the time after I just played YE. There were certainly other pathways that I could have taken there that kept me not quite as good bingo tiles. Yester Eve. Is that, is that a word? Yester Eve? That's amazing. <laughs> no, there's no Yester Eve command. You have to define Yester Eve. Wow. Oh my god. Of course that would be a word. Yeah, it makes total sense now that I think about it, that that would be a word. Oh man, someday maybe, someday maybe I'll be able to, um, to find words like that. <laughs> yes, words that are long, so basically like, the percentage of the, percentage of games where you need to, um, play a word longer than eight letters in the game is pretty low. Right, so the, the marginal utility of learning words for Scrabble that are longer than eight letters is really, really low. Uh, I will say that they're fun. Th those words are fun to learn. They're aesthetically very pleasing a lot of the time, these big, long words that have lots of letters. But learning them is definitely not um, going to add a, a huge boost to your scrabble game certainly not compared to learning the twos and threes and all of that stuff and that's definitely one of the like the disconnects between somebody that has a really good working vocabulary for example like an english major or you know somebody that crushed their sats right um you could be somebody that knows a ton of words but like they just aren't the right words for scrabble um so Bess says learning them when analyzing for Babel. So Babel Royale is potentially a game that due to the design of the game, that could make learning nines and 10 letter words much more impactful because when you play a nine or a 10 in Babel Royale, you are set for the entire rest of the game with money and resources in the game. And uh, there's just, you know, you can go up to 10 letters on your rack so in Scrabble, you can't. So the reason in Scrabble that those longer words are just ones that don't often appear is the, the limitation of seven tiles on the rack, of course. Um, so, um, okay, let's see here. There's definite, like, I would love to, I would love to overlap going all the way down here, but I think... Unfortunately, I probably just have to play drawn leaving GUG. Unless I have I don't think I have a six or anything like that. So um that's not a word or else I would play it for sure. I really don't I really don't, <laughs> I can't have you tried using control commands? Yeah. So um 
yeah, I mean, um, all, all for all of my, so I, I'm pretty sure I'm feeling like emotionally ready to play Babel Royale again. And like the sign that I knew I was gonna come back to it eventually is that I still have my I still have my little ba my Babel Royale uh, cheat sheet here to help me remember what the key binds are. So they're still they're still there they're still there. Um, so I'll play drawn here. I'm sure this is fine. Um, people get annoyed when I try to overload. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, play, you know, playing, yeah, doing a bomb on the board. Like, if I want to play a bingo, if I want to play a bingo and I, um, in a Scrabble game and I just bomb a certain spot to blow all the tiles away, um, my opponents don't like that very much. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. So, in Collins, I would play this. In the UK English, I would for sure play that. I don't think that's, I don't know what I'm supposed to play here. Um, I'm up by a lot. I'm really not in tremendous danger of losing. Um, I would love to play something like Vogue or something like that here just because, you know, I've said this before, like, um, pretty much in Scrabble, you have a couple of things going on, like depending on how you approach the game. Sometimes you're going to look at your rack first and you're going to say, I would really, really like to play this word. And then you look on the board and say, okay, where will that word play? Other times you look at the board, like in this situation, I would look here. I would say, I would love to play here. Do I have a word that helps me do that? So looking at my rack, I would like to play vlog or something like that. I guess I could play something like glove. Um, probably gov is a little bit better than that just to score pretty well and not open anything. The E and A of Toya, the A is going to be really, really hard for Chess Bunzo to hit. The E is literally impossible to hit with a bingo. It doesn't extend high enough. So playing anything over there, it's a pretty safe area. If I wanted to block something, I would block this part of the board here. Um... I think I'm okay with just playing this here. Let's do that. Oh man. So I'm drawing poorly, but in Scrabble, it's a great a great time to draw poorly is when you're up by a lot because you were drawing so amazingly earlier in the game. So that's kind of that's kind of what's happening here is that I have had a couple of terrible racks in a row, but it doesn't really matter cuz I had so many good racks early in the game. Um so yeah, just to recount, I played this, I played this, and I played this. So three bingos for me in this game. Uh, Bunzo played Wardiest, um, but certainly no shortage of good stuff for me. Um, Micron, very nice, and thank God there's no place to play any. Look at this. Let this be a let this be a microcosm of the world. I can't play my O here, no matter how hard I want to. Isn't that heartwarming? Um, okay, so that's a very nice play, I might add. Um, my letters are crummy. Um, but again, it's really not that big of a deal. I would love to use up my use if I can. I guess this is probably fine though, actually to get closer to that. Yeah, let's do that. Just to get to the end of the game as quickly as possible. Cagool. Um, so that, I think this is a boat. Isn't this a type of like nautical thing? A light anorak. Okay, anorak is a jacket, so that's completely incorrect. Right? Yes. Okay, so at least I knew what an anorak is, but anorak is a normal, is pretty much a normal word. Kagul is not. <laughs> it's a, a lightweight waterproof jacket. Yes. 
Yeah, sorry, Co sorry, Co Rob. You'll have to. We we're nothing is set in stone yet, so we'll have to figure out what's annoying you and try to and try to fix it. Um. But yes, um. I just yeah, I just want to play Scrabble as Margaret Th Margaret Thorns said so famously on our YouTube channel. The start game button has been spinning for 20 minutes. Uh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a woggles. Uh, yeah, wh which, yeah, we'll have to figure out what, what game you tried to start, obviously. If it's with a, with me. Okay, and are you you're sure it was you're sure it was the right one? I we definitely have to delete. There's two other Wanderer 15s that need to be deleted. So it, as long as you got to as long as you got to it from um, that profile link that I linked before, then it should be it should be the big check guy. Okay, thank you very much for the follow. Um, wait, why did the I didn't get the uh, Miss Electric. Um, we have our notifications active, thankfully, at least. Um, so Bunzo is in a tough situation here. He's down by a lot. He's probably just looking to see if he can get a uh, miraculous bingo. Followed all instructions. All right, we'll 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 figure this out. We'll, we'll be sure to figure it out. I apologize. Um, thank you very much for trying this hard <laughs> to <laughs> complete a game on here. Um, but we'll definitely figure it out. So I am uh, at the tail end. I'm at the tail end of the stream. The only reason I would continue is because Co Rob has been working very hard to send me one final challenge. So maybe, just maybe, if we are able to figure that out, I'll play one more game, um, and then we'll call it a stream here. But um, we'll just try one more time. Once this game ends, maybe it has to do with the fact that I'm in a game and it's not. Um... Okay, Hound is the play as uh, Bunzo throws in the towel on finding any kind of bingo or anything like that. He has G-I-O-P. That doesn't look good super useful to for bingoing somewhere i guess i'll just play funk that's probably not correct oh i did just get a challenge um so i am able to get challenged from nikit Sus. <laughs> thank you very much not sure if that's a test challenge um sent user number where did you send um yeah thank you <laughs> thanks nikita it's it's working we'll figure it out we'll figure it out uh okay i will play funk just because or no i should play funk flit with two t's is not valid in this i'll just play funk who cares that's a fun word sent user number Where? Where should I be looking? Oh, probably on Twitch, right? Yeah, sorry. I bet I know. Um, Stand by. I'll find it. Or maybe not. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Oh, if I go to, if on the home page I go to play a friend and send a challenge link, I can copy and paste the link. Oh, yes. Oh, right. I knew that. Sorry. I know, I know the site. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Definitely have some uh, studying up to do, apparently. Um, okay. All right. Almost there. I have two T's and a B. We'll do this. I don't think I had an outplay. 
Um, so we'll see if we can get this final game underway. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Chess Bunzo, for the game. I appreciate that. Now, let me see here. Uh, I'm going to try to figure this out. So, loading. Okay, let's see what happens if I do this. Yes, all right, invite to play, and we'll do a 15 minutes game. If you want word challenge, we can. Let's see what happens. So it is, it is, it is doing this thing where it hangs. Okay, interesting. So this seems to be a pretty legit, this seems to be a pretty legit issue here. It's just hanging for some reason. Um, so if this doesn't resolve, we'll definitely clip this and figure out what's going on on the back end. <laughs> People named Heidi cannot play. No, that's not, uh, that should not be, that should not be the case. So, okay. Um, yeah, this is, uh, like a reproducible thing. So, unfortunately, maybe this is the way to do it. Send a challenge link. Start game. Well, let me not dox, dox myself here. Um, hold on. How do I do this without... Well, whatever. You guys are going to be. Oh, it's like hanging up my whole my whole thing now. Play a friend. Send a challenge link. Okay. Copy. Let's see what happens. This is the, this is this is the last thing. So, Heidi, I'm going to send you I sent you a link. See what happens if you click that or put or post paste it into your browser. I broke it. Is the word finder ever going to have blanks? Um, I have to imagine it will if it doesn't currently. Um, but uh, yeah, that's definitely a, a big, that would be a big plus to add that for sure. So um, So let's see. I see a bug. It's a bug that the blank doesn't work. Yeah, I seem to recall that being like a known issue that we have to figure out. Just brings you to the main page. Okay, so this is definitely something that we'll have to figure out what's what's happening at some point. Um, sorry, <laughs> really apologize that we didn't get to play, but we did get to play a bunch of times over the weekend, so that's nice. Um, Anyway, uh, we are basically at time here. It's been a couple of hours. That is the normal duration of my stream. I definitely apologize to anybody having uh, issues um, starting a game, but I was thankfully able to play some folks. Uh, certainly, it seems like there's a legit issue here because I couldn't successfully start a game, but um, had a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Um, for watching along. Let's just see if anybody is doing any, um, let's see if anybody is streaming any kind of word game related activity that I can send you guys to. Um, let's see. Well, we did get a Tetris, you know, we did get a Tetris raid from Gerhard Adler. So why don't we pay it forward and send a raid back to monthly Tetris? which uh, I'm sure you gaming-minded people will appreciate uh, watching a little bit of, te of Tetris. So let's do a raid. And I feel like we, you know, getting, getting, some, um, getting some visibility from other gaming communities is a pretty nice thing for us to do as well. So lots of people... Um, play, lots of people watching monthly Tetris right now. I usually find that I just start to get mesmerized by Tetris. 
Um, but it feels like there's uh, there's definitely some people from that that world that are interested in Scrabble too. Gamers are gamers of all different shapes and sizes. So um, anyway, thank you very much, everybody. Um, appreciate all the games, all the good vibes, everybody hanging out. And uh, to my knowledge, we're going to be right back again on Thursday evening on this channel. And it's going to be none other than Josh. Hopefully he's rested recovered from all the commentary that he did at the Canadian Scrabble Classic, and uh, he'll be back here to play some more games on Thursday. Scrabble Thursdays, le legitimately on Thursday. I know, Dustin. It's crazy. Um, so, all right, gang. Thanks again. Really appreciate everybody hanging out. Look for Josh on Thursday night, and uh, I will see you guys later.